what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj Favre. in today's video guys we do have another update on velo which has taken a slight dip in value as you can see 15 percent down in the last 24 hours and currently trading at just about one cent so we're going to be looking at is it going to pump back anytime soon as you guys can see over the last couple of days it has been performing absolutely insane all up until earlier last night where it started to slowly drop in value and it's still ongoing right now and in my previous velo update i did let you guys know do expect a slight drop in value over the coming days which it has been going through right now so is it time to buy the dip is it time to sell it or is it time to hold on to it that's what we're going to be going through in today's video covering both buyers and sellers point of view and also looking at its prediction over the next couple of hours days weeks months and overall in 2023 is it still worth investing into value but before i get into all of that stuff guys if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i'm trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i'll be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry follow me on instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so it's not just velo that's down today the market is down two percent in the last 24 hours as you can see with bitcoin dropping over two percent as well ethereum three percent so on and so on so in the last hour velo has gained over three percent in value however overall over the last 24 hours it is down 15 percent even though yes it has been very volatile guys so overall it is down and over the week it is a massive 174 percent up guys and yes about yesterday midday early yesterday it was over 250 percent up all up until it took a slight dip in value and over the month a massive 257 percent so so far it's been very good for velo again dips are always part of the process and i've always said this guys whenever you see a crypto doing a huge percentage increase do expect it to dip in between and that's one of them that's happening right now so going into the coin market cap website we can see the trading volume has gone down by 30 percent making it 63 million dollars of course we did expect the trading volume to go down because the value of velo has taken a little dip 15 percent down so most people are not buying they're not selling what they are doing is holding on to it and hence why the trading volume has gone down as there's not many people trading the cryptocurrency right now so let's get straight into it on the screen right now we do have the candlestick pattern chart with the macd indicator which i'm going to be using to do some price prediction as i'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for so we are looking at the daily chart and at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart which is the sma indicator giving us the average value of velo which is here at 0.005 so about half a cent however we can see it's actually trading at double its value at one cent meaning it's performing quite well and much better than expected so let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then i'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself but before i get into all of that stuff guys as usual just a little disclaimer this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is for my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make i will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart we do have the blue and the orange now looking slightly bullish heading towards the positive direction again they're not looking too steep they are just about slanting towards the positive direction meaning very minimal gains in value are expected over the coming 12 to 14 hours so let's say towards the end of the day today early hours of tomorrow i'm expecting velo to go for a little increase in value however in between that time it is likely to drop further over the next couple of hours dropping just below the one cent target before it starts to steadily gain value up to about 0 0.012 to 0 0.0125 is what i'm expecting towards the end of the day today and early hours of tomorrow now moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days we're not looking too great we do have the blue and the orange line both looking bearish heading towards the negative direction and yes guys they are looking quite steep meaning it is not realistic again whether it's going in a bullish or bearish direction but it's looking like this steep that means it's not realistic so over the coming seven to eight days so let's say towards the end of next week i am expecting an overall minimal increase in value from velo potentially going to about 0.015 cents is what i'm expecting by the end of next week or even heading towards the two cents target depending on how volatile the crypto market is how bitcoin performs especially because more or less guys bitcoin 
drives the market in a positive or negative direction but hopefully we should be able to maintain the green side over the next couple of days especially mid to late next week i'm expecting slow and steady increases in value heading towards the two cents target now moving on to the daily chart next couple of weeks what can we see here guys we've got the blue and the orange line heading upwards hopefully the chart is taking a while to load up but again guys if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button i'm just going to quickly refresh the page and again guys velo is a cryptocurrency which i haven't invested into as of yet only because it's only started pumping right now over the last couple of days so more research more technical analysis that does need to go into the project for me to invest into it but yeah you guys have asked for regular updates on the crypto which i have been doing and i will be doing as well so anyways here we go the daily chart we've got the blue and the orange line going in a bullish direction looking quite positive and yes they're not looking too steep they are just about slanting towards the positive direction meaning gains in value are expected over the coming six to eight weeks so let's say mid to late april 2023 i am expecting an overall increase in value from velo and in april late april shall i say we should be trading around 0.035 to 4 cents in target yes i know it, it may seem like a major increase from where it is at the moment however guys giving it a good two months we should be able to hit that target especially the way it's been pumping over the last couple of days and weeks as well it's been absolutely crazy and if we do manage to maintain that green side then we should definitely be able to head towards the very getting very close to the four cents target but again this depends on any collaborations and partnerships that they've got going on or the crypto market in general but as of right now it's looking quite good for velo for the long term but again you guys have asked for regular updates on velo which i have been doing and i will be doing as well so make sure <laughs> You stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload so let's get rid of the macd indicator and bring on the fibonacci scale to do some technical analysis guys and as you guys can see we are currently trading in the red zone and we've got quite a long way to head to the green zone here which is the 50 cents target which i'm not expecting velo to hit anytime soon even in the next few years guys it's very likely we are going to be trading in the red zone but that doesn't matter guys what matters is as long as we can slowly and steadily gain up up value and heading up to the green zone we should be good to go but so far the red zone it is but yeah that is pretty much it guys for today's video just a quick one on velo like you guys have requested for regular updates which i have been doing and also before i end the video guys i just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form and especially all the subscribers out there thank you guys so much as it helps me out a lot and means a lot to me as i am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year and at the end of the day guys it's free to subscribe so why don't you go down and smash that subscribe button and like the video and i'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today until then take care and peace